Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T's official study guide, the study manual rather, the official study manual, 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 15 and today we will do some problems well not some problems rather we'll do a problem one problem that you will find on page number 155 155 please turn to it make sure the book is always in front of you the reason why we will do only one problem in this video and it's going to be a little bit of a longer video is because today we'll talk about a concept which I find or which I found through experience dealing with my clients uh, that they find it sometimes uh, quite confusing, which is what exactly is the difference between a quick cubic centimeter and a millimeter? Cubic centimeter, cubic centimeter versus milliliter. Milliliter, milliliter, cubic centimeter. You represent with letter CC, milliliter, sometimes you will find as small M and small M together like this, or some people prefer to write it with small M and a capital L, makes no difference, it's the same thing, it's the exact same thing, milliliter. But the question is, what exactly is the difference between the two concepts? And the reason we need to talk about that, the reason we're going to talk about it today, about, about the concept, is because the problem that we're going to do right now deals with that concept, and that is problem number two. Problem number two. So for the time being, we're going to skip problem number one. We'll do that tomorrow. Problem number one. Let's take a look at problem number two. Dealing with the concept of cubic centimeter versus milliliter. So let's begin, shall we? If you take, if you take a cube, if you take a cube, which is just a box, a three-dimensional box, if you take a cube that is that is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter and and fill it up with a liquid fill it up with a liquid a liquid of your choice do you understand yes exactly if you fill it up with a liquid any liquid that you prefer it will hold it will hold what is known as one it will hold as what is known as one milliliter. Do you understand? One small thing before I get, before I completely forget it, liter sometimes, you see right here liter, sometimes you will see me spell it with L-E-T-R-E -E, and sometimes you will see me spell it with L-E-T-E-R, it's the same exact thing. I was brought up with the, uh, with the, with the, with the spelling of L-E-T-R-E -E, which is a British spelling and Americans use T-E-R, it's the same, same bloody thing, do you understand? So there we go. If you take a cube, which is a three-dimensional, a cube is simply a three-dimensional square, and if you fill it up with a liquid, completely fill it up with a liquid, however amount of liquid that, it, that that box can hold, that amount of liquid is called milliliter. That's all it is. That's all there is. So then, what do we get out of it? We have an answer to our question here. What's the difference between cubic centimeter and a milliliter? Now that we understand that part, that is the amount of liquid, that is held by a box which is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. Let's draw the bloody thing. Let's draw it so we can visualize it. And I'm going to erase all of this also so that we can have a little bit of little bit of room. So let's take a look at it, shall we? So we're going to have a box. Voilà. 
that should do it I think. This is one centimeter, this is one centimeter, and this is one centimeter. So in geometry, if somebody were to ask you what's the volume of this thing, okay, listen carefully, what's the volume of this thing? The volume of this thing is going to be one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter. That's how we measure the volume. One times one times one is just one, and then centimeter times centimeter times centimeter is centimeter cube. Centimeter cube. This is how a mathematician will insist that you call it. For example, if you have, if you have, how is this red? This is not red as cubic two, is it? One does not read this as cubic two. This is red as two cubed. Therefore, this should be read as centimeter cubed, which is the proper way, which is the proper mathematical way. But when we're measuring, when we when we're talking about units as opposed to numbers, say numbers, you would say two cube, seven cube, nine cube. You would not say cubic nine. That'd be damn silly. So when we're dealing with number, we read the number first and then we read the power nine cube. But when we're dealing with units, it is read as cubic centimeter, cubic inches, cubic feet, cubic yard, cubic meter, whatever it is, whatever the unit of distance is. So this one has a volume of one cubic centimeter. And the amount of liquid it will hold is this particular box that we draw, this box, this, this box holds exactly one milliliter of liquid. And we already established that it is going to be liquid of your choice. Very good, that's what it is. So what's the bottom line? The bottom line is that if somebody asks you what's the volume of this box, the volume of this box is one cubic centimeter. And how much does it hold? How much liquid does it hold? Well, it holds one milliliter. And hence, and hence, one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. Follow. One, one centimeter, one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. All right, let's carry on. I'm going to erase this box here because we need, I need the room again. So let's take a look at it. But that's what it is. It's the amount of, one more time, it's just the amount of liquid that you can hold in a cube that is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. The difference is that the cubic centimeter as opposed to cubic centimeter, not cubic meter. That's an entirely different thing. Cubic centimeter versus milliliter. The difference is that when we are dealing with solid things, solid things that you can, that you that are tactile, that can be felt and touched as opposed to liquid, you cannot really, it doesn't have a shape. Liquid is liquid. But if something is solid that you can feel and touch as tactile, when we are dealing with solid things, when we are dealing with solid things, the unit that we use is cubic centimeter. That's for the solid. When we're dealing with liquid things, so that in this context we use cubic centimeter. When we're dealing with liquid things, we speak in terms of is the same exact thing. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing, but the notation changes. Instead of writing it like this, because this tells you that there are three dimensions to it. One centimeter times one centimeter times one. You see that? It has three dimensions to it because it's solid. But if it's liquid, we write it like this. Cubic centimeter. Because here we're measuring the amount of liquid that hold, that goes in this box. A box that holds, the, the, a box that has a dimension of one centimeter by one centimeter by one, one centimeter. It has a volume of one cubic centimeter and it will hold one cubic centimeter. Same thing. Or, you can also say, when we're talking about liquid, when we're talking about liquid, we also say that it holds one milliliter. One milliliter. They are all one and same. I shouldn't have drawn a circle around it because I want to put a box around this thing. So that's what it is. That's the bottom line. Well, that's all it is. 
And one more time, the difference with this concept is this and this concept. The difference between this concept and this concept is that there is no difference. You use this thing for solid things, and the amount of liquid that goes in that box is, is if you're measuring that, this is the notation you use if you're talking about liquid things. You can either speak in terms of cubic centimeter, or very often you will find the same thing we refer to as milliliter. A milliliter is a cubic centimeter. That's all it is. Now that we understand the concept, we can do the problem. It says that we have a we need dosage. We need we need dosage of 2.5 milliliter twice a day. Twice a day. To remember that it's twice a day. So we bought, we went to the pharmacy and we bought this medicine that the doctor told us to buy, the doctor told us to take twice a day, 2.5 milliliter, and we bought a bottle. Now, on the bottle, on the bottle, doctor told me, doctor told me, take two and a half milliliter, that's what he told me, he said take two and a half milliliter twice a day. And he wrote down the time name of the medicine. I went to the pharmacy and I bought the bottle. On the bottle I find that it says, the bottle says that it is, it contains 200 cubic centimeter. Right away, obviously I'm confused. He told me to take milliliter, the bloody thing says cubic centimeter. Let's carry on. The question is very simple here. The question is how long will the bottle last? How long will the bottle last? Well, first thing first, we haven't resolved this problem here. I was told to take two and a half milliliter. The bottle says it contains 200 cubic centimeter. What's going on? What is going on is that these two are one and the same. Milliliter is a cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter is milliliter. So you can say that I was told to take 2.5 cubic centimeter every day, or I was told to take 2.5 milliliters, the same exact thing, and it contains 200 of them. And that's all it is. I'm going to erase now the rest of it. It's very simple. So we're going to take 5 cubic centimeter every day because we tell 2.5 twice a day. We're going to take 5 cubic centimeter every day. Or if you like, we are going to take 5 milliliter. It's the same bloody thing. Same exact thing. Two different names. That's all it is. So, the bottle contains 200 milliliter. We are supposed to take 5 milliliter per day. Because 2 and a half times 2, twice a day. There you go. Milliliter is going to cancel out milliliter, those units are going to drop out and day is going to end up on the top because it's the fraction here. And that's what it is. So we drop the milliliter and we divide 200 by 5, 20, 20 has 4 fives. We're going to divide top and bottom by 5, 20 has 4 fives and 0 has no fives. It's going to last me 40 days. 40 days. Now, instead of, instead of, instead of doing this problem milliliter, if we had done in cubic centimeter, I'm going to tell you all the things that are going to change. There you go. We would have written cubic centimeter here and all the things that would have changed here is nothing. It's nothing because it's the same exact thing. Alright, that was the end of it. The bottle is going to last, it's bottle is going to last me 40 days because 100 milliliter would have lasted me 20 days. Uh, the bottle is 200 milliliters so I'm set for 40 days. Alright. I'll see you back in 40 days. If you wish to get hold of me in the meantime, if you have any, uh, uh, anything that you wish to talk to me about, I was going to say if you need any medical advice and I stop myself because that is not something to be silly about because I have no medical qualification, you understand that. My, uh, my email address, you can send me an email at keshwaniprep at icloud.com if you want to talk to me at anything at all having to do with math and nothing else. Bye now.